everyone, this is Dr. Speranza and welcome to my math online class and the first order of business is to share with you how you will be graded in our online class. So 25% of your final grade will be coming from your weekly quiz and before you answer your weekly quiz, make sure that you are going to take notes from the video assignment and answer the problem set that I will be giving you each week and that is 40% of your final grade and 20% of your grade will be coming from your discussion and make sure that when you write your discussion it's going to be a well-developed post as opposed to giving me a one-liner reaction and for your 15 percent that will be your midterm and your final exam and that is 100 percent so if you want to earn your a in my class you need to make sure that you are understanding how you will be graded and know what a concepts or how you're going to earn your A, your B, your C, and try to avoid your D and your F in our class. Now, homework assignment. Your submitted homework is 40% and that 40% will be coming from your video assignment, which you will watch and take notes from. And after you have taken your notes from that video, you're going to take a photo of that note using your cell phone or your mobile devices or your digital camera maybe and upload it in your canvas page and that is going to be part of your 40 percent for your weekly homework grade and your problem set is also the same case the problem set is going to be coming from our oer or our textbook and if you are understanding the video that I am sharing with you, then answering the problem set will be easy. So after answering or completing the problem set, take a photo of it and also upload it in your Canvas page. And that will be your weekly assignment tasks in our class. Now deadline for your homework assignment is Sunday at 11.45 in the evening. So that is your deadline for our class each week. Sunday at 11.45. Now for the discussion post, which is also has a deadline of Sunday at 11.45 p.m., you're supposed to give me at least two um, discussion entries. One is your initial post and the second one is your response from your peers or your classmates post. And in submitting your discussion entry, make sure that it is well developed it's substantial and it shows critical thinking in your writing. Academic language is still expected in your writing because you are being graded in your opinion and your feedback to your peers and that is 20% of your final grade. So again, one line of response. It's not going to give you a good score in your discussion entry. So make sure to get that 10 points each week in your discussion post. Now the weekly quiz, before you uh, answer the weekly quiz, make sure that you have watched the video, copy the notes, and answer your problem set so that it will prepare you in answering our multiple choice and sometimes fill in the blanks quiz each week. And for that particular quiz, you can use your notes. And another bonus, in taking our online quiz is you have a second attempt in improving your quiz score. So let's say your first attempt, you only got 17 points out of 20 and you want to earn that 100% in your quiz number one. So retake it again and you are going to earn or hopefully you'll earn 20 out of 20, which is 100%. And whichever is your higher score is going to be recorded in your Canvas Gradebook. So two attempts for your weekly quiz. It's open notes and it has a deadline at Sunday at 11.59. And again, answer your quiz when you have completed your homework in our class. And for the next exam or set of tests that you're going to be taking, it'll be your midterm and your final exam. But take note that your midterm and your final exam only has a single attempt so you can repeat your test. You have the entire week to answer your midterm and your final exam. So make sure that you are prepared when you take your midterm and your final exam, which is 15% of your final grade. Now for our textbook, we're going to be using an OER or open educational resource. And the reason why you're not paying any textbook for my class is because we are using an online textbook that is free of charge. All you need to do is to use it. And the OER is always linked in the 
video assignment page each week so you can click on the hyperlink and it will direct you to our um, online textbook or OER so you can use it now one of the policies in our class is that there's no makeup work so let's say 11 45 on a Sunday and you still haven't done any of the weekly tasks unfortunately you're not gonna be able to make it up I'm not gonna open or um, allow you to access the weeks or the tasks that you have missed so keep that in mind you have seven days to complete your homework problem set your discussion entry and your quiz four items in your weekly tasks and you have seven days to accomplish this so don't wait last minute to finish your tasks and make sure to complete or start completing your work at the beginning of each week cramming and procrastination will be two of your major downfall if you don't keep a good routine or healthy routine in our online class time management self-discipline that um, those are keys in uh, your success of earning an A in my online math class now communication there's a typo right there but in communicating with me I will accept uh, error in spelling but something that I uh, don't accept will be disrespectful email so again when you are emailing your professor make sure to watch out for your tone and make sure that when you are writing them you are writing professionally and not as if you are texting your friend over messenger so uh, be aware of the decorum when you are sending an email because these are some of the essential skills that you need to learn in a higher education setting remember you are in an academic institution so be mindful of your email and also make sure to write your name and the course name on your email because each of your professors they are handling multiple courses so to um, answer your concern right away and to help us remember which class you're at tell us where or which class you're taking in my class or in your professor's class so that we'll be able to uh, uh, address your concern immediately so i'm going to give you three random facts which i'm also asking from you so if you want to earn an extra credit point on your discussion entry this week give me your three random facts and for those students who did not watch this introduction video or did not finish this introduction video too bad so make sure to always watch our video from finish to end so my three random facts one I have a silver play button from YouTube for earning over hundred thousand subscribers right now I'm at hundred and sixty thousand plus I have over 15 years of teaching experience I started teaching at the college level in 2013 and yes I may look young but I am a well-seasoned educator and I know what I'm doing and the last fact that I am sharing is that I don't eat fish those are my three random facts now I want to hear yours and again this is Dr. Spronza and welcome to our online math class bye